everybody, it's Joanne here with the Work in Progress. And uh, today I wanted to share a small haul with you. Uh, this is a collective haul of things that I have been purchasing over the uh, last several weeks to sell on eBay. Uh, some things have already uh, been listed and uh, some have not, but I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. I haven't been finding, honestly, a lot of things um, for eBay lately, uh, but some of the cool things that I think I did find was first this set of vintage bookends. They're quite heavy uh, and I'm kind of guessing from the pattern they might be from the 60s. So uh, I need to do a little bit of research on these and they'll be going up shortly in the next day or so. And this I found at an estate sale on Sunday. And I think that Nicole over at Nesting Haven would appreciate this. Um, it is, and I'm going to have to show you piece, pretty much piece by piece. It's an entire nativity set. Uh, need, no, that's not needlepoint. Oh, that's terrible. I can't remember what this is called. But it's all done by hand. If you could see that detail work in there. And there's one of the camels. Look, it even has a little rope on it. And there are a couple of palm trees. Amazing, amazing. This must have taken somebody just the longest time to do. Um, we have a little donkey. And let's see, there's let's see one sheep. There's another guy, the lambs. Oh, let me see if we have, wait, here's a cow. And there's this little face on that side. And the gentleman threw this in. This did not come with this set, but he just put it in there. A little dove. And then we have, uh, there's an angel. And I'm going to be selling this as a lot, the, the entire nativity set for one uh, cost. And there's one of the wise men. And there is another. I wonder how long it took to make this. And here is the baby Jesus in his little cradle, and it comes out. Uh, let me see. There's Mary. And let's see. Here's. Uh, where is Joseph? I think this is that. Is that the, that Joseph or one of the kings? No, actually, I think that might be Joseph. And then we have the three wise men, I believe. Look at that detail in that. It's amazing. And this little guy here holding his lamb. So all of those pieces um, set up in the nativity uh, itself. Uh, will be one price. I have to do some research on them uh, to see if there are any even listings for that, but I just, I couldn't let it sit there. It caught my eye as soon as I went into the estate sale. And then I got to chatting with a gentleman. It was actually out in a garage that I found this. Got to chatting, started chatting with him, and uh, he, I don't know why it was, but he kind of made the decision for me to get it, but anyhow. And then this adorable little bear. He's a little honey pot. And let me see. Let me take the tape. Well, I'm not going to take all of the tape off of him. He is, he was made in Taiwan. He has a B stamped on the bottom of him. And he is all intact. And he even has the little piece to pick the honey out of the pot. And I am going to be honest with you. Oh, come on, baby. If he doesn't sell, I'm not going to be that upset because I think he's adorable and I'll be happy to keep him. <laughs> um, this is something, I don't know how far back this may go. So the idea, what I have figured out, is that you put your stick butter into that compartment there. And then you, when you push down on this, you can see the mechanism work inside. So it slices off pats of butter for you. I thought that was super, super cool. And let's see. It's a patent pending. 
butter. Let's see who made this. Yeah, it, it is a one click butter cutter. <laughs> I don't see anywhere on who made it, but I thought that was just super cool. And for someone's uh, retro kitchen, that'll be a, a nice addition. Um, let me see. I also got this bag. They're Christmas ornaments, this whole bag of Christmas ornaments. And I'm going to lock these up. I think it's in sets of four. And there is, these are all made in Taiwan. There's a scissor and a spool of thread and a little ruler and, oh, and then a little iron. So I thought this might be a cute little gift uh, for whoops, for anyone that knows, you know, a seamster, somebody that just likes to craft, that sort of thing. That would make a cute little Christmas uh, gift. So as I said, those will go into lots of four. Then I'm taking a chance on these. I found these vintage decks of cards, and they're from Airlines. Um, I don't even know Airlines ever put these out. Uh, this one is from Piedmont, which is no longer around. Uh, this one is from United. And let me see with this one. This is just Maverick Jumbo Face playing cards. They have It has never been opened though. Uh, so that is a vintage set of cards. And then this one is from Frontier. So we'll see. It's a, it's a little, you know, it's, it's not a huge gamble because I didn't pay a whole lot for them, but it's just something that I might want to give a, a, give a try to. And then this book <coughs> is, a, is a vintage book. Uh, let's see, they are, it's, a, it's an old Hawaiian garden, it says. And also inside of it was a Better Homes and Garden Old Fashioned Roses. Let's see, copyright 1987. And these are just some old prints of roses. Those were inside of the book. I'm not sure that they were meant to, to go together, but they, they were in there. So I took, you know, I bought those as well. But inside of this book are some beautiful, beautiful pictures of flowers from Hawaii and what they're called, and let's see, their little poems on each one of them, a torch ginger, they're beautiful, white ginger. So I thought that was a, a kind of a neat thing to find, and that, that's an experiment as well. I have no idea when I picked it up if it was going to sell. I thought it was an interesting book, and at least you know worth giving a shot. Now this is a bag, this is already listed, <clears throat> excuse me, they are vintage, and I, I'm really surprised that they did not sell for Halloween. They are vintage Halloween hand puppets. There are four of them, and here we have the little witch, they're not marked. We have a little witch, and the count himself, and... He looks like a happy pumpkin, I think. <laughs> and then a little happy ghost, too. So those are already listed. Uh, they had one or two watchers on them, but no sale. I will keep them listed, though. And I found some more of these, I think it was William and Sonoma, the pancake molds. Uh, I do have listed up some Star Wars ones. And I found some additional ones, so I thought they were just really cool. Um, this will be sold in a set. There's a sunshine there. Uh, this, I'm assuming, is a spaceship with a happy face. <laughs> and there we have a moon. So we have that set. And I would be surprised if they had been used. They're in excellent condition. And then I found a second set of them. These. This one is still in its wrapping, so it has not been used. Uh, what is that? 
Okay, folks, can you help me? I have no idea what that is. I could be holding it even upside down. Is it a spaceship? That's what I'm going with. Spaceship. This, again, I'm going to need your help. Not sure what that is. Could be upside down. So we'll have to do some research into those as well. And then we have a third one. Got that. And then uh, just two more, yep, two more pieces. This I found, um, and I love vintage uh, picture frames. And this one is completely intact, which just surprised the heck out of me. And it is an oval shaped, I don't know, can you, I guess, can you tell the glass is domed? Oh, there we, there's a good one. Yeah, you can see it's domed. It is completely intact. No chips, no scratches. It's not broken. That was amazing. And it has the velvet back on it. So you can, I also, you can stand it or you can hang it on the wall. So that piece will be going up as well. And you can see the detailing a little bit there on the side. Pretty, pretty picture frame. And then the last thing I got, um, again, this is kind of a gamble. I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not. We'll see. This is the Deluxe Seen It, The Simpsons, a DVD game. So I got that. It is all intact. I made sure that everything was in the box that was supposed to be there, and it was all there. So that's it. As I said, it, it was a quickie because I haven't been finding a whole lot of things that uh, I do want to put up on on eBay. I do have a ton of things that I need to get listed, but that's a whole nother story. But anyway, if you enjoy seeing these kind of uh, videos, I do an occasional eBay haul, um, as well as home decor hauls, kind of centering around um, a farmhouse feel and uh, DIYs and crafting and such. So if you like that kind of thing, I would love to have you as a new member of my YouTube community. And uh, if you are already a subscriber, as always, you know, I thank you very much for that. And uh, I'm going to be doing later on today a craft video where I'll show you how I take a thrifted uh, tray that I found and transform it so that it's something more to my liking to my taste. So until that video, guys, um, take very, very good care of yourselves, and I will see you very shortly. Bye-bye.